Hello everyone! I'm sorry about my weird background. I have a guitar and a sheet attached to the wall because I was doing some photography and yeah, it was, it's, it's not weird. It's not as weird as it looks. So ignore that kind of area over there. It's fine, it'll be fine. So today I'm gonna be talking about how to migrate your blogs over to Squarespace because more and more people are using Squarespace these days um, and they're wanting to get all of their blog stuff that they've put on like Blogger or WordPress and move it over to Squarespace. And luckily, because Squarespace likes to make things as easy for everyone as possible, it's super, super easy to do. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get your Blogger blog over to uh, Squarespace. And then I'm gonna be doing a part two to this one, which will be how to get your WordPress blog over to Squarespace. So there's gonna be two different ones so that you, if you blog on Blogger or if you blog on WordSpace, word, I keep saying WordSpace, I keep putting them two together, WordPress. WordPress. So if you have a WordPress blog and you want to put it over to Squarespace, then these two videos should hopefully help you, but they are fairly easy things to do. So let's get going. First of all, what you want to do is open up your Squarespace website. So if you haven't already signed up because you're just a little bit scared, you're not unsure, not unsure, but you are unsure that you want to move over to Squarespace, um, first of all, you need to sign up for Squarespace and get your dashboard up. So once you have your dashboard up, you want to go to settings, um, go down to where it says website and then advanced and import and export. And it's literally the simplest thing ever in the world. Um, I think if you were importing your blog from Blogger to WordPress, you'd have to like download the blog as an XML file and then upload it and all this, but Squarespace make it super super easy like they always do so <clears throat> oh, i'm a bit croaky so then what you do is you get to the import and export things i don't think i just said what i did then so once you're in advanced you go to import and export which is in your little menu click on that and then you'll have two different buttons you want export or import so you're importing a blog into squarespace so you want import and then fantastically because squarespace is the best thing ever it gives you lots of different options that you can choose. So you can choose where you're bringing over your stuff from. So we are gonna be doing Blogger in this video. So click on Blogger. And then you will get a little box that says import from Blogger. Now what you wanna do here is put in your blogspot URL. So if you have a custom domain that you have attached to your Blogger blog at the moment, it's not that one. Put that to one side, that's for later. It's the one that ends in .blogspot.com. So you will have one, even if you have a custom domain set up, um, all blog, blogger blogs, oh, that's a blog, 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 blogger blogs have a blogspot.com um, domain name. So that's the URL that you wanna put into this section here. And once you have done that, I will just grab my blogger one actually, so. If you want to find out what your blogspot name is, go to your blogger dashboard, go down to settings, and then it will tell you in settings, basic publishing, and that's where your blogspot.com domain will be. So if you don't know what it is already, you don't know off by heart, that's where you can find it. And then you want to put it into this blog here. Blog? I'm getting my words mixed up. Box is what I meant to say. And once you've done that, you just click begin import. And um, once you've started importing, you'll have this bit down here that tells you how far along it is. So it's kind of at this stage that I want to point out that if you are importing a blog over from Blogger, it will only import your any images you've used in blogs, the actual text of the blog, um, and then comments as well if you have any Blogger comments. So if you have Discus or anything like that, like an external commenting system on your blog, it won't transfer that over. You have to do that separately, like a manual thing. Um, so it's only post images, posts, and um, any blogger comments that it will bring over. Everything else, like the design, the CSS, um, any HTML you set up or anything like that, that will all be gone, and you have to use a Squarespace um, template. So the best thing to do, and what I did was, I signed up for Squarespace, um, and then I designed the entire site uh, just without having my custom domain on it yet. I kind of didn't set up that, didn't set that up till later. And then once I got the actual design, how I wanted it and everything was laid out, I had the pages that I wanted. That was when I transferred everything over to Squarespace 
um, and then put my custom domain in and set it all up and then pushed it live. So that is the easiest way to do it. And now we have to wait till this has imported. So yeah. So over on the left hand side, we have import import from file success. So that means that your blogger blog is now on your Squarespace blog. It's done, everything's fine, everything's imported. Um, and you can now move on to actually working on it and getting it all set up ready to go live. So we're gonna go back to your main home dashboard and then go on pages. And then you should find it at the very bottom where it says not linked. And if it's not there when you go on the first time, then all you have to do is just refresh the page because um, it'll just reboot it. Might not be picking it up. And then when you go back down to the not linked section, you should see it at the very bottom and it should be greyed out because it won't push it live until you tell Squarespace to push it live. So in your pages, go down to the not linked section and find where your blog is. So that is where mine is. And as you can see, it's imported all of my blogger blog posts into Squarespace. And this is actually the second time that I've done it. And it seems as though they have fixed a lot of the formatting issues that were originally there. Um, it used to break up if you had any like bold or anything like that, but everything seems to be fine, but just give it a quick check over and make sure that everything's fine. And then once you've worked on it, you're happy for it to be pushed live, then go into the settings of the blog and click enable. And then that will push it live. People will be able to see it. And then if you want to put it on your navigation bar, you just drag it up to um, the main navigation section at the top there. So you just click and drag and throw it up there and it is done. So that is pretty much how you put your blogger blog onto Squarespace. If you have come here and you're hoping to see a WordPress version, then all you have to do is click on here. Da, 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 da. and that will take you to the WordPress version of this video. It's very similar, pretty much the same sort of general direction of places to go on the uh, Squarespace dashboard. Um, but it is, there's two different ways that you can do it for WordPress. So I'll go through both of those as well for you. And yes, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it was helpful, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to this channel as well for lots more tutorials. And if you have any requests or anything you would like answering in video form, please let me know in the comments below and I will try and get around to them. So that is it. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.